Good evening, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Monday Night Live with Julia. I am the owner of the Paper and Ink Boutique here in Calgary. And every other Monday night, I try to be here to give you a crafty demo. So this is the first one of 2024. Thank you for those of you who joined us for Monday Night Live in 2023. We're continuing on. This is episode 62 of the series. Thank you so much for joining me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch to my overhead camera and we'll get started. So welcome, everyone. Hello, hello. Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to switch my camera. There we go. How is everyone doing? Hello. You know, I've missed doing this too. I thought about this yesterday and I thought, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I remember how to do this, but here we are. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Okay, so it is about indigo blue tonight. Indigo blue. So um, I'm self-moderating. I don't have anyone here helping me. So I'm going to try and keep my eye on the screen to um, answer your questions. Um, but tonight is all about Indigo Blue. And Indigo Blue is one of, one of our new brands. It is a new brand for us. Just going to hang on, I'm trying to, there we go. Um, Indigo Blue is a new brand for us, and we just received our first order just before Christmas, so I didn't even really get a chance um, to really work with it, show you, talk about it, so I thought, why don't we start with Indigo Blue? So here's just a couple of things I created. Now, this is one of their uh, gray board tags. I'm going to be recreating this, um, not exactly the same, but kind of the same. Uh, with you tonight, but I do want to share something else with you before I get started. So this right here, this is one of their concertina, um, concertina journals. So this is what the pack looks like. This comes in a pack of four. I'm just going to open it up here, take one out so you can see what it looks like before you create on it. So oh, this is a handmade cotton rag paper and there's four in here. Um, they are handmade from 100% long fiber cotton rags, acid free, smooth surface, deckled edge. Um, so we are carrying these now. So this is what it looks like when you take it out of the pack. And like you can see, it is a concertina. It opens up. There you go. You can see it there. So it's very cool. This is what it looks like when you get it. So I had to play with this one this afternoon and I created this concertina that is going to go into one of my journals. So there you go. It says, what could I do if I wasn't afraid to try? So that's the front of it. The back of it, I just used a stencil and some of the Just Walnut um, infusions from Paper Artsy because this is going to go into my journal. I'm actually going to glue this part into my journal so I can still lift it out. Uh, the butterflies, I actually, um, what I did with this is I used my better press. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't try to do that on screen because it took me a little while. But what I did was I used my better press and on each panel, on each panel, I better press the butterflies. And then I colored them with pencil crayons, um, with my pencil crayons. And then what I did is I took my, just gonna see if I can find it here. I took Distress Glaze and a small brush and covered up all of my butterflies with the Distress Glaze. And then I took a mini mister that I put the Just Walnut Infusions um, uh, powder in, made my own spray, and then sprayed it over the entire thing, let it dry, 
And then I did some stenciling with a with a um, indigo blue stencil. Hi everyone. Um, and then just put on some gesso, and then I added my stenciling. What could I do if I wasn't afraid to try? So this is going to go on my journal. I'm actually really happy with it. I really put this through its uh, its paces. There was a lot of wet media. I was brushing. I was coloring. But I am really happy with these concertina journals. I think they're amazing. Now, you don't just have to use it as a concertina journal. What I actually uh, considered doing was cutting one up and better pressing the butterflies on and die cutting them out and then add some of those on. I might still do that. I just ran out of time this afternoon. Um, now, if you're wondering about this stencil um that what could i do if i wasn't afraid that's actually one of the new stencil girl stencils we got again just before christmas so it is called not afraid to try still in stock and uh i really like that one so i only use the words on it but it's got all these other really cool designs on it which i thought were were great but i just used the words on it for today so that is the concertina journal. I think it's really amazing. Hi, Melanie. How are you? Okay. Okay. So I'm actually going to be working on one of the gray board tags. And that's what I created this out of. Now, these are pretty thick. They're pretty sturdy, which I really like. So that's what I'm going to be creating. But I am going to show you the stamp I used. So this one here, this one is called Be Yourself. And this, I love some of the sayings on these. Here's to strong women. May we know them. May we be them. May we raise them. Yeah. Love. We've got a couple of uh, borders. That's tasteless, inappropriate, and totally hilarious. That pretty much explains my sense of humor. I am going to be using this on the tag that I'm creating tonight. Just be yourself. Let people see the real, imperfect, weird, flawed, quirky, magical, and beautiful person you are. Yes. Hello. Okay. So I'm going to be using that. Just going to set that aside. But they've got some other really great stamps. I don't have all of them. I know it's shocking. I don't have all of them. Um, but these are just a few that I've got. Think Evil Thoughts. These are kind of sarcastic, kind of like me. I really love the face stamps on this one. Love it, love it, love it. Um, uh, build a bridge, get over it. That's something really fun. Uh, today, I will think evil thoughts and not try to say them out loud every, every day. Anyhow, here we are. They've got a lot of really great stamp sets uh let me now some of these are sold out i know these two are sold out i'm using them in my explore class later this month and they sold out but don't worry i'm going to be bringing these back in this is the journal phrases one and journal phrases two absolutely amazing love them watch for those to be back in stock soon and uh this one was actually the first one i put into my cart it's called the Act. and so everywhere where you see where it's centered yeah Plus, I love this face. Uh, yeah, I should have used that one tonight. We also have a few stencils. Um, these are the two I have. I know for sure this one is sold out. This one is sold out. Don't go looking for it. It is definitely sold out. Uh, but I will be reordering it. And this is the stencil that I used on my concertina. This one is called Sea Urchin. And I used it on here on my concertina journal which it's really cool. I love it. I love it because it looks like ovals or circles with rays on them. Absolutely amazing. Love that. I did use it on the back as well, just to kind of decorate the back. You can see it there. Yeah. So that is sea urchin. Okay. One other thing we brought in and you know what? I haven't even tried these yet. I actually forgot about them until about five minutes before I went live. This is their fat foam. P-H-A-T, fat foam. And the reason I got it is because I was hoping it was going to be like the dry cut and foam from Ranger that is no longer available. Now, I have a lot of people saying, yeah, it's available. Tim shows it. He's not showing you this. He's showing you the other one. Um, this is the dry cut and foam. And it's amazing. So uh, when I got this. You're on your personal Facebook, not the store's Facebook. I don't know if you can change that now. Or nope, not. can't. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Apparently this is streaming to my personal Facebook instead of instead of the store. Oh well, can't change it now. I'm already started. Okay, so this one is um, this is the fat foam. So one side is the hard foam, which is the same as it is on the dry cut and foam. And then the other side is the actual foam. So we also carry those now. And I forgot we had these. I'm going to use uh, one tonight when I do this. Okie dokie. Let's get started. Okay, gray board tags. We have these in three sizes. I'm using the large size. There are uh, the medium and the small. This is the large. And you are looking at... So the large one is three and an eighth by six and a quarter, just in case you're wondering. That is the large tag. Now, this is what it looks like when you take it out of, um, yes, I don't know who mentioned that because I can't see your name. The foam is really good for mica flake burnishing. It absolutely is. We actually do have the foams for micro uh, mica flake burnishing from Creative Expressions too. We have that one as well. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. That sea urchin one does look like orange slices. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. Definitely does look like citrus. Okay, so this is what the gray board tags look like when you take it out of the package. That is just from the laser cutter. That's what you see there. Uh, now this one, earlier this afternoon, I have already uh, gessoed this. I didn't want to take time to gesso it on screen. So I gessoed this one ahead of time. Now I'm going to take, I happen to find in my stash, some pieces of printed tissue from Paper Artsy. So I'm actually going to use some of this. Not sure how much. Let me just grab another piece here. Just going to tear off some pieces and let's get started. There we go. That's enough of that. That's printed tissue from Paper Artsy. There we go. Now I'm also using something else from Paper Artsy and I apologize now because we are sold out, but I just reordered them today. So we should have them back in stock next week. This is the matte tints. So I've just reordered all of these. They will be back in real soon. So if you want to get your hands on these, hit that notify me button on the online store. Um, but I'm going to be using these because um, they are not only a tint, but they're also a glaze and a glue. Uh, no. Okay, let me grab a brush here and my printed tissue. Uh, I think I'm going to start with glow. I love this one. That's the one I used on this was glow. Okay, I'm just going to brush this on. I'm going to go over top and underneath. Now you can mix these glaze and glue. You can use them with infusions. I've done that. That's a lot of fun. I just like how I can glue it down and um, it also tints it at the same time. I love that. Now Paper Artsy has said that they are getting in. We'll be releasing um, more matte tints this year. So I'm really excited. Okay. There we go. Now, because the matte tint is a liquid, it's actually going to soften up those um, the fibers in the printed tissue. So I can actually peel that away from the side. I could wrap it around. I did that on this one. I did wrap it around onto the back, but this one I'm going to take off the side. Very cool. Do I want to use anything else on here? I actually like the alphabet part. Let's do that. Let's do that down here. Oops, wrong side of the brush. Um, yeah, let's do it upside down. There we go. 
Oh. Love, love, love printed tissue. So cool. So the more layers of matte tint you put on, the darker it's going to get. Just going to tear that away. Get rid of all that. Just going to hit this with my heat tool. So that's what that looks like dry. That's very, very cool. I love it. I think I might put on a little bit more of that matte tint, but I also think I'm going to use this one. This one is called Nutty. So this one is more, it will give you more of a sepia, a sepia look to it. So I'm going to take some of that and the yellow. Oh, that's a gorgeous color. There we go. That is looking very cool. Love that. Oh, my word. Love it so much. Okay, very cool. Uh, let me just hit this once more, give it a good dry. Very, very cool. I'm loving this so far. Look at how much that holds up to that wet media. Just slightly a little bit of warping, but hardly anything at all. I am loving that. Now, I didn't put any gesso on this one over top of this. Now, I am going to do it here. So let me just grab my gesso. <clears throat> just going to grab not too much. I don't want to push too much to the background. But I think let's just tone some of this down just a little bit, not too much. You can see I'm just dry brushing on some gesso, not a whole lot. Now, because this is a glaze, anything underneath the mat is protected. So if I wanted to take a baby wipe or a wet cloth, I can wipe it down or wipe it back. And I don't have to worry about that uh, printed tissue. Uh, coming apart or coming up because it is covered in that glaze. Okay, so I've just pushed a little bit of that to the back. Not too bad, loving that. Um, let's see. That's actually really cool. I'm just gonna take, I have a little bit of the glaze, so I'm just gonna go over that just a little bit, just to kind of tint that gesso. So actually what this is doing, what I'm noticing is when I'm adding this matte tint over where I added the gesso, I can now see uh, that sepia color a little bit better on top of that yellow. That's actually really cool. I love how that works out. Now, just looking at this on screen, sometimes when I'm looking at something close up, um, I, I miss things, but look at it off screen, which is a little bit further away. I am actually seeing a bird. I don't know if anyone else sees that. The head of the bird, the wings up and down. I don't know. I wasn't totally going. I wasn't going for that, but I can see a bird now. Just weirdness. I don't know. It's weird when you create something and then all of a sudden you see something come out of it. Very cool. just lightly I just have some extra of the tint on so I'm just lightly brushing it on I love seeing my brush strokes there of the two colors 
There you go. Okay, I think I'm done with the glaze, so I'm just going to clean my brush off. There we go. So I'm going to put these side by side so you can kind of see. Uh, kind of the same, kind of different. Now, before I went live, I, I did pre-stamping because I didn't want to bore you with me using my stamp platform. Uh, so I did stamp her. I stamped it, her on uh, Vicky Boot and Foundations paper using my archival black soot. And the reason why I'm using my archival ink is because I'm going to brush matte tint over the tops. I didn't want I wanted to make sure I'm using a permanent ink. I'll be cutting her out so I can get rid of that. Now, this is what I want to show you, okay? So here I stamped that sentiment. And now you're probably seeing this. Yes, I overstamped. But let me just grab that set again. Here we go. So when Indigo Blue cuts the stamps out, they don't really cut away a whole lot of the excess. So if I take this out, you can see the stamp I used here, and you can see where that archival ink is. What I'm going to do off camera, now that I know where my ink is going to hit, I'm actually going to take a pair of uh, really strong scissors, uh, the Tim Holt scissors that I got, and I am going to come in here and cut up to that sentiment so I won't get this um, over inking on the edge. I've already done that with some of the journaling stamps from them. Um, so don't be afraid. If you've got a stamp that does that, do not be afraid to take your stamps and cut the excess part. Don't be afraid to do it. All right. So what I am going to do is I am going to bore you with us cutting. Now, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. No, there is no demo deal on the Indigo Blue products. I'm uh, running uh, a couple of other deals right now. We're running, I think, Minte is done. We've got three orders. So we decided not to overwhelm us with running a deal this week, but the deal will be back next week with the Dynamic Duo. Uh, Nancy and Ted will be back next week to dazzle us with the Dynamic Duo demo, and there will be... Uh, there will be a demo deal for that next week. So, you know, I complain about fussy cutting. I am not a great fussy cutter. I don't do all the nooks and crannies because um, I get bored. <laughs> so I go around as quickly and as closely as possible. And sometimes an ear will get cut off or, you know, whatever. But I just roll with it because, you know what, I don't have time to do all that fussy cutting. And I applaud all of you who love it and enjoy it. I really do. I do not enjoy it. I do it, but I don't. <sighs> Apparently this is streaming to my personal Facebook page. So I had any of my personal friends who are crafty happen to watch me on my personal Facebook page wondering what the heck is going on here I know I was surprised too I don't know how that happened okay so this one I'm actually just going to roughly uh just cut off the excess because this one I'm actually going to be cutting apart uh, the words and attaching them uh so I'm just going to roughly cut out all the excess right now just so I'm ready to go Okay, so there she is. Now I'm not cutting this out because I'm going to be using the matte tints. It's going to help just kind of blend that into the background. Um, but I think she looks amazing. I think I'm going to put over here because I think these words will look better going down this side where she will look great right there. So am I going to use matte tint to glue her down? I absolutely am. I'm going to bring in Nutty. This is the sepia one. Okay. Again, let's use this. And I am going to use it to glue her down. So I'm going to put some matte tint on the back. I 
I saw somebody somebody say, and I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was, that they wish that they could just create, I don't know, with reckless abandon. Was that what it was? I missed it. Um, I was talking about something else and I meant to come back to it right away and I forgot. Um, and you know what? I'm going to tell you a secret. I never used to create like this. I was very anal type A when it came to scrapbooking and card making. I wanted everything to be straight and perfect. And then I got into art journaling and I realized that I don't have to follow the rules. I didn't realize you could break the rules. So I'm here to tell you. Go ahead and break the rules. Go ahead. Break the rules. Do what you want. You're not performing heart surgery here. You're just, you're just being crafty. Okay. So there we go. I've got her down. I'm just making sure she's sealed down to the paper. Yeah, it looks like everything is stuck down little bit of excess matte tint around her. So I'm just going to get rid of that. There we go. And there she is. She is now down and sealed on there. Perfect. I actually like her better in this color rather than the yellow. Do like it better with this one? All right. Let me do my words. Let me do the words. Scissors. Just be yourself. Now, when cutting out words, I tend to kind of follow the shape of it. I don't really cut it out into like perfect little. Letter. Just be yourself. I'm just going to put these on here. Um, let's see. Let the people see. Um, I did mention this when Indigo Blue came in. If some of you are fans, or maybe if you're new, you can go check out their retailer, not their retailer, um, their customer site. And if there's something you'd like to see us carry, Oops. Uh, you can send an email to support and say, hey, I would love to see this from Indigo Blue, or I'd love to see you carry this. Um, I am going to be placing an order later this month, so um, I would like to know what you would like to see us carry. Real imperfect. Real and imperfect. There's a lot of words in here, and I suppose you don't have to use all of them. Real perfect. Flawed. Aren't we all? There's nobody perfect out there. Oh, Wendy Hillman has lots of... I know. Me too, Wendy. Let me tell you, when I was placing my order, it was hard. It was hard to know to stop. I, I did have to take some things out of my cart because I thought, oh no, Glenn, Glenn's not going to like this if I if I bring this much in. Weird, um, but don't worry, you just need to like it. So I will keep bringing some in. I'll bring in stuff that we've still have. Plus, I'll bring in some new stuff. There's a lot of really great mixed media stuff. Didn't bring any of that in, and the reason why is because um, they weren't able to confirm if it was stable um, and safe to send in cold weather. So I didn't bring in any of their media because I was afraid if I was going to spend uh, money to import this stuff to Canada, I didn't want it to get ruined in cold weather. So I'm going to wait and order that stuff um, later when the warm weather returns. Okay, I'm almost done cutting out all these words. I should have done this before too. Okay, 
I'm not even sure if I'm going to use all of them, but we're going to see if we can fit on this tag. Now, I will let you know, a lot of the things I make on Monday Night Live end up in orders that go out. They'll be on display in the store for a little while, and then I'll pull them, and I'll be like, hey, throw this in the next order that comes in. So one day, somebody might be getting this in an order. Let's see the real... Well, let's fit it right around her flawed, weird, imperfect, quirky, um, and magical. How's everyone doing? Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're bored with me cutting these out. I'm so sorry. Beautiful person. Um, if if you're worried about that tints, I've actually talked to Leandra from Paper Artsy, and their paint and matte tints are safe to ship in the cold weather. Because that was one of my things when um, when I first started carrying them. It's like, I can't bring them in because it's like minus 40. She's like, oh, no, it's fine. I was like, oh, okay. And in the four years we've been bringing them in, we have not had a problem. And I bring in there around. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Now, I'm going to I'm just going to move these off to the side just for a second because I do want to do a little bit of stenciling down this one side. Just a little bit, not a lot. Now, speaking of paper RC, I placed my January order with them. So exciting. It is a Seth Aptor, Tracy Scott, and Hot Picks release this month. So excited. Ordering in this stencil. So this is the sea urchin stencil. And I'm going to use their fat foam. Um, let's see. Do I want to use black? That seems a little daring. I don't know. Maybe, no, not gold. Hang on. I wasn't prepared for this. I didn't bring out. Let's use peach nectar. I love this color. That shape. Just going to put a little bit on there. I'm not planning on doing a whole lot of stenciling. So I'm just going to tap that and oh, that's fun. I don't want to use the big sea urchins. I just want to use the smaller ones. Oh, that's fun. Um, let's see, what else do I want? Let's do this one. Oh, that's fun. I like that. All right, let me give this a try. Oh, you're going to be excited when you see what's coming this month from Paper Artsy. I was excited ordering it. Yep. Yep. Can't wait. Wish I could tell you, but I can't. Sworn to secrecy. Um, I need another brush. I put both my brushes in my water. Okay. Just be yourself. going to hold that down there make sure it's stuck and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put the matting over top so not only seal it down but it's also going to tint it just going to go around just clean up that excess there we go just be yourself
Oops, I have to do that. But I have to say, I am really enjoying. Just let that pop up. Just when I come back in and seal it down again. I am really enjoying these matte tints. I use them with infusions. Very cool. There we go. I am. There we go. What's coming? This is really coming along. I'm probably gonna do some splattering. You know me. I can't. I can't not do splattering. So it'll be splattering at the end. Oops. That'd be. I should actually put blood on upside down because that would. That would be my luck. Blood. Weird. Infect. If you're wanting to see more demos of the Matt Tim Beth after has been doing them. Uh, Raquel Perez or Scrap Cozy has also been a few. So you can always search Matt Tints on YouTube or on Facebook and you can get demos. But these are really fun. And Leandra did tell me that I think they're coming out, with, I want to say 12 more this year. I don't know when that happened, but I looked up and I wasn't there. But it looks like StreamYard kicked me out and then it brought me back in. So here we are. Sorry about that, technology. Okay, look at that. That is so much fun. Love it. There we go. I'm actually really happy that I used 
um, what color was that? That was peach nectar. The peach nectar and the nutty matte tint actually look really good together. I'm glad I tried that. That's really cool. I love it. Okay, now one other thing I want to do. Hopefully the internet will cooperate with me for the next few minutes. I'm just gonna wake that up. I am going to. This is gold fresco. Just gonna put some of that on my work surface. I'm going to add a little bit of water to that. Give that a mix. Perfect. Because I can't not splatter something. So let's give it a good splatter. Perfect. And last thing I want to do, I'm just going to spread that on there a little bit. And I did it on this one is I actually took the edges and I ran the edges through black paint. But this one, I'm going to run through the gold paint. Just to do, just to finish those edges off. Nice gold edge. Plus, I've got the paint here. I might as well use it for something, right? And look at how gorgeous that gold edge is. Mm -hmm. Oh, my word. I'm loving it. Just something so simple can make just such an impact. Okay, let me give this a dry. Look at that. I actually really like that. I think that looks really good. I love that. Just be yourself. Let people see the real, flawed, weird, imperfect, quirky, and magical person that you are. And there you go. And here's the first one I made. You are amazing. And those are my messages for you as we start 2024. Let people see the beautiful person that you are. Weird, quirky, flawed, imperfect. Let them see who you are. And you are amazing. There we go. I don't know what is up with the internet tonight. I have no idea, but you know what? I'm going to cut it short because I'm feeling my internet's going to just right now. Um, but thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry. I am so sorry for the technical difficulties, but there you go. Maybe one of you will get this in a future order. It'll be on display at the store for the next little while, but they will be put into um, orders very soon. So there you go, two tags using uh, Paper Artsy and Indigo Blue products. I hope you enjoyed it tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to watch this on replay, you can find it on our YouTube channel, as well as all 61 previous episodes of Monday Night Live. I will be back in two weeks for another crafty demo on Monday Night Live. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Have a 